I want you to understand why we use trench composting as our method of choice. Trench composting has many advantages. Out of sight, out of reach, no smells, 60 centimeters deep of soil, worm incubator, reusable holes, perpetual harvest. We add three ingredients, comfrey, lots of red wigglers, lots of them. And we use this beautiful, rich sand. And this sand actually conditions, helps condition the soil in such a way that it's usable right away when we dig it out in six months. We have all kinds of twigs in here to keep the uh, compost pile aerated. These worms go to work inside here and they will digest this compost very quickly and they'll reproduce. Yeah, we always like to try to, at a lower level, we always have cow manure or horse manure inside these areas just to add a different material to this compost to this trench composting so adding diversity to your trench composting is very 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 important and make use of it because the end result is that the soil that comes out the uh, compost that comes out is going to be so nutrient rich and diverse that your plants will absolutely love it after about three months I will come in here and I'll look for my worms. If they have no food left or if they basically are stranded inside this compost pile, I will save them. I will get them out and I will get them an area with new food. So we'll come in here in three months, check if the worms still have enough energy to keep going. And then what we'll do is we'll take the worms we find in this trench compost and we'll move it to the next trench composting area so they're always in food. It is crucial. These worms, these red wigglers, don't do well if you're not feeding them all the time. So that's one thing to remember is when you're doing this trench composting and you're adding the worms, make sure you pay attention on how much food they have.